you making, Bone Gang, and welcome back to another episode. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right off the back for this road behind me, so there'd be cars probably passing this entire video, but I want some crawfish, and uh, I don't feel like paying the price that they want for them at the moment, and what's the fun in just going to the store and buy them when we can go catch them ourselves? So I'm in a different spot from where I was scooping those crawfish uh, with the net. We're here on the side of the road, as I said before, in a big ditch. So I done pulled the old crawfish nets out of the shed, and I also went on Amazon and got these crawfish traps. Now these things are essentially just the same as the minnow trap y'all see me using if you've been around the channel for a while. Except these traps have way bigger holes in them to fit the crawfish. Hopefully we get some big crawfish this time to get a little bit of size. But to be honest with you, I want crawfish so bad, I'm even going to eat them little guys if we catch them. I then walked up and down this thing, drove up and down this whole road. What is that on the lens? But anyway, I've been walking up and down this road, driving up and down this road. Stopping at little different spots in this this dish, this drainage canal, if you will. And uh, just with the dip net scooping, got a couple crawfish, so I know they're in there. Yeah, I'm starting kind of late. It's almost noon o'clock. Coffee took a while to get kicking this morning, but yeah, let's get them set out so we can have a pearl. So if you're not familiar with crawfish, fishing, one of the best baits you can use is what they call beef melt. Now, somebody told me it's the spleen. I don't know. Never asked the cow. But anyway, let's uh, let's just get the crawfish. fishing. What do, you, what do you say? Oh, great! It's starting to rain. All right. First trap we're gonna put right here. Found us a little hole in this mess. It looks like a good spot right there. So all you do with these traps, if you're not familiar with them, is you put the pegs in the hole on both of them, you close it up, and then you just put this clip through these eyes right here, like so, and then you toss it in the water. Just toss it right there. Come on, get under that water. Nope, just not quite deep enough. Oh yeah, I like that a little better. Oh, there we go. All right, I thought about sticking one right here in this little thing, but Oh wow, look at that. I might put the minnow trap there. Man, look at all those fish. Got all those little uh, minnows in there. I don't know if they eat beef melt, but uh, I know my bass could go for some minnows. Oh, that dude was loud, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in this uh, little area right here. Yeah. I wish I had some bread to put in the trap for these minnows, but who knows, maybe they like uh, beef melt. I mean, who doesn't, right? I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll come back and check it in a few. If we don't like what we see, we try again. All right. Well, we're down the road a ways. Same road. Um, same ditch, essentially. This is the spot where we're going to try out the net. So I'm going to go ahead and bait a few of them. A couple of them. Go put them out while I bait the rest of them, you know. And of course, they're tangled up a little bit. All right. They tangled up a lot. All right. That's five of them we got untangled. Let's throw these out there and see if there's any crawfish to be caught. Well, so I'm not feeling too good now that the sun comes out and it's 12.30 in the day. Not exactly prime time, but you know, we're gonna work with what we got. That's one. Well, we got five of these suckers baited up and we got our handy dandy boat hook. I'm gonna set the first one right there. I don't know why, just because that's where I want to set it. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. I'm just going to let it sit and do its work. I think the rest of them, I'll try and sit them in the shade. I don't know why, because it sounds like a good idea. I guess since we don't have no clouds, we just use the trees as the shade. Oh man, look at all these mosquito fish in here. I think that's what they call them. Definitely gonna have to try and scoop a few, maybe one for the, the aquarium and the uh, pool pond. Which remind me to show y'all the pool pond when we get home. I don't know what happened to it, but the last time I put crawfish in it, came back two days later and the whole pond is this real dark, nasty color. You can barely see any of the fish and I don't know what's going on. Everything's still alive, there's still a bunch of crawfish in it, but 
I mean, I can't figure it out. All right, let's get these other ones in the water while we untangle this mess. So I just put out the rest of the nets, thinking about six of them. So I'm gonna go check the ones that we originally put out. It's probably the absolute worst conditions to be crawfishing in the heat of the day and the sun's all bright and shiny. Perfect for a picnic, but just maybe not ideal for crawfishing. All right, let's see. Oh, ain't nothing on this one. That was in the sun. Look at this one. And I can see it right now. Not a crawfish on it. Tiddlywinks. All right, let's see. Maybe we can put it Ooh, that was a, f oh, that was one just running. I stepped in his grass and he took off. Hmm. I think we might be putting this scoop net to work again, folks. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna have to uh, maybe stomp on some of this grass and chase him up. It's the next one, I don't, doesn't look like there's anything on it. And nothing. And nothing. And all right, of course I didn't have it on film, uh, but I was just playing around with the net in the grass because I saw one shoot off as we were walking, and we got one. All right, I done filled this bucket up with a little bit of water, and I got my bubbler. We're gonna go try and catch some of those mosquito fish and some crawfish with that net. There we go. Excuse the mess. There he is. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Let's right, see if we can't sneak up on one of them pretty little minnows. Oh, there's a little group of them right there. Don't know how close we're gonna be able to get. Look, they coming in. They coming in. And they turn. Where they going? They getting close to that bank. Ooh, there's some right there. I'm gonna sneak up on. Oh, he's in the grass too. And we no, 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 And get him. Did we get him? Yes, we got him. We got one. Dude, look how pretty this fish is. Look at that. How pretty they are. Come on, get on your side so they can see. Look at that. It's like a guppy. Pretty sure they call these mosquito fish. Let me know in the comments below. That's what I'm calling it anyway. Uh, yeah, he might go in the fish tank. I don't know if I can feed him to the bass. See if we can get another one. Ooh, look, there's a bunch of them right here. A bunch of little ones. And scoop. Oh yeah, we got a few. We got a few. Oh, there's a little guy. Put him in there. In the grass. Bunch of grass. There he is. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hope oh, there's one. Drop you in there. Make sure there's nothing over here. There's some stuck in the grass. Come on, buddies. Put all y'all in here. All right, we're gonna try and scoop up in this grass. See if we can't get a crawfish. This is kind of where that other one was. Oh my gosh! Look at the. What in the world? Look at all these tiny little fishes. Yeah, we got a tadpole. Jeez, look at all these tiny fish. And nothing. Thought I saw something on there. Dang it. Little suckers is quick. Keep seeing them pretty fish I'm after, but they just keep eluding me. No, I got, I got a minnow, but that ain't the one I was looking for. Ooh, got a couple that time. Ooh, we got some sizable ones in here now. All right. Let's go put these in the, in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Where'd he go? That's a big one there. Eh? Ooh, there's a pretty one. Oh, 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 where'd you go? How big some of these are. Oh, look, there's another good looking one there. There he is. All right. Yeah, some of these are going to have to go in the fish tank, I think. Are hey, y'all behaving in there? Yep, we're definitely doing better with the scooping situation. Here's two that I just got. 
and there's two more in there that's four of them not jumongous but uh you know what i'm eating them so we're gonna go put these back in the bucket and i think it's about time uh well we got 12 more minutes according to my timer that's gonna be two hours since we put the traps out and i think we're gonna go check those you know what i'm saying all right so it's been about two hours since we uh put these traps out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and check them and uh, if we don't have a whole lot in here i'm gonna head to the house eat me some lunch maybe even take a little nap and then we're gonna come back out and try again this evening first we're gonna check out this minnow trap oh ay 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 that sticker bush got me i thought it was a snake goodness gracious anyway all right let's see if we got anything in here well we got a bunch of minnows got a whole bunch of minnows all right well at least we got something and a leech we don't want the leech all right here goes the actual first crawfish trap that we got over there by this pound metal and nothing well we're gonna throw it back out like i said we're gonna come back out this evening and see and nothing and oh we got one we got one well that's better than none so at least we know they're in here and we're back it is what 5 30 now in the evening rush hour traffic so the road's gonna be a little bit louder unfortunately but now is probably the time where i should have started crawfishing if i wasn't going to get up early in the morning all right here goes nothing here's uh trap number one well we know there's crawfish here because there's a crawfish mud hole right there all right come on daddy needs some crawdads and we have one crawfish Come on, baby. And one. Well, at least these traps are good for one apiece. Still seeing a lot of bait in there, so. And up, oh, up, oh, there's one. Well, apparently these traps can catch a crawfish all right let's pull up the minnow trap now and see how many minnows we have we're doing a lot better with the minnows i wonder if we can boil those what oh wait the minnow trap got us three crawfish look at that and we got a couple little uh a couple little minnows to boot well it started raining on me out there so uh it's actually still drizzling so we came back didn't get any more with the uh the scoop net but this is what i was talking about about the pond look how dirty this is i mean that is absolutely disgusting you can barely see to the bottom and if you can make out all those dots or crawfish though the ones that we put in there i don't know maybe you've seen the the hashtag shorts that i had put up about me going scoop them real quick speaking of scooping up uh, crawfish and putting them in the pool pond this is all the crawfish we got today uh and only one is about the size that you know the small end of the size that you would want to eat so unfortunately i'm not going to waste the seasoning in the water to boil these bad boys so i am going to just throw them in the pool pond along with some of the minnows all those minnows you see me catch earlier in the video i actually dumped them in here when i came back to eat and and, and take a little break up oh, still got it's raining in your eyes there but let me know if anybody knows why my water is like that. I do have a UV filter. It's got a mechanical and a UV filter in it. Don't know if it's the rain. Don't know if it's all the crawfish that I put in there because I'm sure that's possible. They probably just made everything disgusting. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this incredibly unsuccessful crawfishing trip. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the video, helps out the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, which will probably be fishing next time. Yeah, probably need to stick to fishing. Oh, by the way, there were mosquito fish that I was catching, but most of the ones, as you'll see in the aquarium in a few seconds, is, I believe, sailfin mollies. All right, see you later.